the psychoactive substances bill 2015 is Home Secretary Theresa May's attempt to introduce a blanket ban on legal highs. But soon after its introduction in the House of Lords, it dawned on people that it could cover, well, just about anything that has an effect upon the brain. The bill states that it will make it an offense to produce, supply, offer to supply, possess with intent to supply, import or export psychoactive substances, that is, any substance intended for human consumption that is capable of producing a psychoactive effect. A psychoactive substance is defined under the bill as one that, if, by stimulating or depressing the person's central nervous system, it affects the person's mental functioning or emotional state. Given that this criteria could include items such as petrol or caffeine, and that the bill calls for a maximum sentence of seven years in jail, a rethink may be needed. The bill itself concedes this and proposes a list of exempted substances, including tobacco and coffee. However, this list still does not include a number of other substances used daily. We asked two experts to help point out just how many other holes the legislation has.